Level Up Production. This is the vehicle we will be towing today. We're going to front tow this vehicle. It's a disabled vehicle. It has uh, been in an accident. And um, some of the components are already dropped on this vehicle, such as the drive shaft, which is here. And you always want to secure that up. So I'll be doing that before we leave. And uh, it's already been disconnected. Also, I'll have to tap into the air brakes because this is the air brake vehicle to release the air brakes for us to be able to tow it. It's got some other pieces on it that's uh, already secured, but we just have to keep an eye on. It was involved in an accident. And we're gonna have to find some, uh, find some fork, fork points for my forks to fit in. I'm gonna front tow this. I'm thinking about uh, attaching to the frame here, but the only thing is these are wires and connections are in the way. So we're gonna try to go around this best we can. Thinking about getting here. That way, the closer I can get attached to this thing, maybe even here, the closer I can get attached to this thing on a long distance tow, the closer my boom can be in. The more support it has. It has more support the closer your boom is in, which is that thing. The closer that's in to that, says it has more support for towing. We'll be using the high heavy today. Got my truck back want to point something out of how you can tap into these air brakes. Um, usually you can use fittings to go in either one of these holes. You would need a wrench to unscrew the airline that's already current present. Usually you would just put a fitting into this here, unscrew it with the wrench, and uh, screw your fitting in and attach your air holes like so. But sometimes you can actually feed the holes into the outlet without even using the fitting. I mean, if it's big enough like so, just fit it in there, put it, screw it in and so. Make sure all the, the other fittings are present so no air will leak out. And just run your holes along the steps and over the hood, back down. And I actually like to attach my holes to the vehicle. That way I have proper turn radius. Don't have to worry about it snatching off. And it's fed back into the line. We have secured our light bar to the back of the vehicle that we're towing. Sometimes you have to get creative in these uh, situations. I try to use any holes that I can on the vehicle along with bungee cords. It's important to run a strap through your light just in case the bungee cords snap, which has happened here. This, this uh, rope will catch it from falling. Also, uh, talk to y'all about chaining up uh, body panels and different components to the vehicle. This is an example of that. We chained this outrigger up because uh, the customer said that it wouldn't stay up, but it did stay up. I just chained it up for safety measures. Also did the same thing with the uh, this outrigger here. Now here we are with the end result. Um, I frame forked here close to the bumper. I had to use a wider, wider fork to get in there really good. Do the same thing on the other side. Uh, we've got, got a safety chain here. Right here, sorry. Got this safety chain all the way back down, up underneath on both sides. We've got a safety chain to our boom for towing. Also, when remove the drive shaft, I was gonna strap it up, but sometimes, sometimes it's better just to remove that. You can, not too heavy.